Today, many across Seattle came together to grieve, to protest, and to commit themselves to the cause of justice. They did so peacefully for noble values using a cherished American right. For most of today, the demonstrators were peaceful, and I thank all of those who chose to exercise their right to protest without hurting others. I reached out to some of the organizers of the protests last night and today, and I thank them for leading a peaceful protest. Unfortunately, in the late afternoon, demonstrations downtown by others quickly turned violent and destructive. We have seen this play out across the country. Yesterday and today, I've talked to many mayors across the country who are seeing similar things happen in their own cities. Here in Seattle, demonstrators threw Molotov cocktails at cars and buildings, causing multiple fires. Some threw fireworks into peaceful crowds and at police. And for periods, our firefighters could not access the fires and put them out because it was not safe to do so. We have reports of multiple officers and civilians injured. At this time, we're not aware of any serious injuries. A number of SPD vehicles and other vehicles were set on fire. In addition, at least two rifles were stolen. One was recovered. One may be outstanding. I understand the immense rage and grief and sense of betrayal felt by so many in our community and communities across this country. However, the escalated incidents of destruction and violence do not honor Mr. Floyd. His own family has spoken against such violence and has urged everyone to demonstrate peacefully.